Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is actually Tuesday, May 24th and if you guys are new here, my name is Danielle and I kind of post a plethora of stuff right now. I recently got married so I've been actually planning my wedding for months now so I finally actually have some time to kind of get back on a normal routine which is what I'm in the process of doing. I also recently would post strictly content based off my business that I have. Um, I actually own a reselling business, which means I go to thrift stores or get clothes from people and sell them and sell them for a profit on apps like Poshmark, Rotary, eBay. So previously I focused on that. I still do talk about it quite a bit. Um, and I also kind of have integrated in organization, cleaning, lifestyle, just cooking, like all that kind of stuff. I kind of just, it's everything. So if you like to watch vlogs and nothing else, great. If you like to watch something else and not vlog, great. Like I'm just, I'm just doing whatever. So I'm so glad you guys are here and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed my content, cause it does help me out a ton. I am about to prep dinner this morning. I'm going to prep it now because I actually have a nail appointment tonight. So I want to prep it. And then when I get home from the nail appointment, all I have to do is throw it in the oven, cook it, and it's done. I, I'm actually making enchiladas, which I've only made enchiladas once before. And I made like the green chili white sauce enchiladas, I think, and I did not like them. Uh, so these are just like the normal red sauce enchiladas. Found a really easy recipe on Pinterest, not that many ingredients, super easy instructions. So I have a big chicken that I bought at the store in the oven right now, heating up so I can debone it. And then I'm going to kind of throw these together. Wouldn't say I'm the best cook, but I also wouldn't say I'm the worst cook. Just kind of like mediocre, I guess. Um, I cook dinner every night for us. Um, and sometimes it's easy stuff. Sometimes it's harder stuff. Sometimes it's do whatever you want. But I do try my best to kind of venture out and make new recipes. Um, so I have actually a few different recipes this week that I will probably share with you guys. I'm actually really excited for a couple of them. Um, this is one of them. If this is a good recipe, it's going to kind of be in our rotation. Um, but that is what I'm about to do. This morning, I actually did some work and then I kind of just hung out with my husband and that was kind of the extent. Um, I need to organize my kitchen cabinets. If you watched last week's vlog, you know it was on the to-do list multiple days and it never got done. So that needs to get done this week as well. Not really sure everything I have to do this week. It's probably a lot of stuff. I'm usually a very busy person, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken out the oven, put these enchiladas together, and I will talk to you guys later. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I am on my way home right now. We went to the nail place. I was at my parents for a couple minutes and then I was, I'm going home. Um, but there is supposed to be, I guess a bad storm tonight. I don't know if you guys can see the clouds behind me, but these clouds are terrifying. These are like tornado clouds and I am scared and I'm trying to get home as fast as possible. Um, and I'm almost there. I'm about to pull into our apartment complex, but literally these clouds have been following me this whole time I've been Turn trying to get home. The you can hear my GPS still going. Um, I tried to take like a new shortcut home from my parents' house. Wrong day to try on a shortcut. I'm not sure if it even saved me any time because I got lost. Also, um, this is my nail color, not the color I wanted, by the way. I was trying to get like a muted, like lilac purple. Whoa, it's so dark. I'm trying, I was trying to get like a muted lilac purple. And uh, I told her like the color and showed her it in the book. And she brought me back a color. And I was like, that looks a little like bright and not the same color. Is that the right one? And she was like, yeah, that's it. And so I was like, okay. And then she finished my whole left hand. And then she was like, is this color okay? And I was like, that is not the color I picked out in the book. I was so irritated. My toes, look, I was trying to match my toes and my nails. So my toes are the nice lilac purple. And now my stupid fingernails are this bright freaking pink. I'm so disappointed. And I just literally don't even know what to do. But I'm parking now, going inside, starting the enchiladas, and I'm over it. That's how I feel so mad about my my nails i'm literally gonna hate them since until i go back and she offered to redo them but after she already had an entire hand completely done and i was like you know that you don't want to redo the entire hand okay she's just trying to be polite but i felt so rude asking her to redo the entire hand but she should have asked me if the color looked fine before that because she knew it was the wrong color like she knew because that's why she asked me to verify if it was the right color because it, it it literally wasn't but anyways 
look at these clouds. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see the clouds? There is like a dark wall cloud somewhere. I don't know where it is anymore. It was literally following me the whole time. So I'm going to get inside because I'm scared. Uh, and my husband should be home like probably any minute. And I really need to start the enchiladas. So I'm going inside. Tell me why I literally got in here right before it started downpouring. Oh my God. I literally just made it inside before this happened. My poor husband. He's going to get soaked. <laughs> He's almost here, I think. We haven't had a storm in a while. I don't think we've ever had a bad storm when we lived here, so this will be a first. But I literally just made it in, and now I'm getting these inchy lods out because uh, they need to sit to get to room temperature. Um, so I'm going to put cilantro on them, but this is how they turned out. They just look like cheese. I did. I put the enchiladas, and then I did enchilada sauce, and then I did onions because I lo love onions, and then I did cheese. Um, if the recipe is good... I will try to remember to link it. Uh, so basically, I'm just letting this get room temperature. And then I'm going to throw it in the oven. I need to go see what the recipe says for the time um, and the temperature. I will show you guys the finished product if I remember. Um, but that rain is insane. <laughs> so I'm going to turn on something to watch and wait for my husband to get home. And hope he makes it in not soaking wet. Look at that. Oh my god, it's crazy. Here's the finished enchiladas. Okay, <laughs> I hope they're good. They smell good and they look good. Good morning, you guys. It is actually Thursday, May 26th. It is um, almost the afternoon, actually. It's 1140. Um, I am at my office. I just got here probably like 10, maybe 20 minutes ago. Um, I filmed nothing yesterday because I was not feeling great. I don't know. I was feeling off yesterday. Just my mood was down. And today I'm not feeling feeling the best like I feel just a little off um but I definitely feel better than yesterday so I did come over here and I did not come over here yesterday because I literally laid on the couch all day long and did absolutely nothing uh, but today I'm here at my office and I have quite a bit to do on Tuesday I don't know if I let you guys know what I even did on Tuesday but I ended up going through all of the stuff that was sitting here and I basically hung a bunch of stuff on my rack that I'm going to photograph today. Um, it's basically like some stuff from a really old thrift haul. There's also like, I don't know, there's a ton of stuff hung up over there, just like random stuff. And then if you can look over here, that box right there that I have left is a Jomar wholesale box from a very long time ago um, that just I haven't gotten to. And then this bag like here, the Ikea bag, is actually... A kind of a bag of random stuff because it is stuff I had sent to flip uh, which is like a consignment thing I actually use flip on the like non-client side like I use it to sell people stuff um, and I have sent stuff there before haven't had the best experience but I kind of want to try it again so I sent a bunch of stuff to flip and then the person kept marking everything is damaged even though I'm like that is not damaged um, so I just let her know to send everything back because it wasn't really worth me paying the shipping and everything if she's only going to sell five items out of all the ones I sent her. I also don't know how it's worth it for her to do that either, but I I don't know. Um, so I'm going to eventually pack that up into a flip box, but I don't care right now. But I did get it all organized, so at least it looks better over here. And then... Behind me this way is a bunch of stuff I need to inventory. And then here you can see I actually started redoing the inventory system. I actually got bin A all the way done. If you missed last week's vlog and the week before that or whenever I talked about it, uh, redoing my inventory system, I did officially start that. It is taking a lot longer than I anticipated, but I am getting through it. On Tuesday, I did a ton. It's taking a lot longer as well just because I am moving my spreadsheets that I initially had. I'm moving all of that into Vendu instead of keeping it on spreadsheets so that all my stuff is in one place, my cost of goods, when I bought the item, where I got the item, and then marking it as sold all in one place. But if you guys don't know what Vendu is, it's like a cross-listing and relisting service. Um, it also allows like inventory management and stuff. And honestly, it is my one-stop shop for my inventory. This is not sponsored by them. Um, but if you guys are interested, I do have a link down below where you can sign up if you are a reseller doing all that. If you're just a normal person here to see my life, well, I guess you don't care. But um, I am going to go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to start with photographs just in case like if I start feeling worse. 
at least I have that done so I can at least process all that at the apartment. Um, but I hope I can get all that processed, not maybe not all of it, but most of it processed today so that tomorrow when I come back, I can probably weigh and um, inventory some of it, but I just don't know if that's going to happen. But I'm gonna go ahead and get to photographing this rack of clothes that is so full. Okay, it's about 1.30 and I wanted to update you guys really quick. Um, I managed to photograph all this. This stuff over here needs steaming and then this is really long. So I need to actually hang another nail or something up there, which I don't have here with me um, because obviously our stuff is at the apartment. Um, and then I have a steamer at the apartment that I need to bring just to steam all that stuff. Um, and then I did photograph this giant stack of pants as well. Uh, so I'm hoping I can get all that processed tonight. Um, and then come back tomorrow, measure it, weigh it, and inventory it. I also wanted to show you guys the shoe racks and let you know they're still standing. They're all standing. Um, what I did differently this time was I kind of angled them backwards. So I scooted the bases forward and kind of pushed them backwards as I was loading them so that they're not leaning forward at all. Um, this one's a little bent right there, so I'm hoping it holds on. Hopefully I'm not jinxing myself. <laughs> um, but so far... This is looking good. And now I am going to work on the inventory system just a little bit. I will probably work until about 2.30, maybe 3 o'clock. School is no longer in, so I used to kind of time my schedule around all the school zones so I wouldn't hit any of them. But now that school is not in anymore, I won't hit them anymore. So I can basically leave whenever I want. But I do want to leave to have enough time to go home, make dinner, and all of that. So I'm going to work on finishing box C, starting box D. Um, B is pretty much full. I'm able to fit like one more thing in there. We'll see. Um, but I'll probably do like one more bin um, and then continue this as I go along. Definitely taking a lot longer than I thought, but that's okay. Someone did claim these Ziploc bags. So as soon as I'm done um, emptying all of these, it might take me a little bit, sorry. Um, then I will send these to you. You know who you are. I also have a story to tell you guys later about someone I sold something to on Mercari. A nightmare, a nightmare buyer. It was lit. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. I posted some of the very rude hateful things he sent me in messages but i do want to come on later and share that whole story with you guys because i was honestly shocked and i still can't even believe that, that happened i am currently in um talks with mercari trying to get him removed from the platform completely so it's like a whole thing i will explain it uh probably when i'm driving home later um or when i get to the apartment or whatever i feel uh because i just need to get some work done before i go but it is like you guys are not even gonna believe <laughs> the things that were said to me it was like it was it was something worst buyer i've ever had to deal with on any platform ever but i'm gonna go ahead and kind of get this inventory system worked on a little bit more uh, and then um i will probably head home soon seriously so hot out here what is the degrees 93 degrees that's what texas will do to you but it is three o'clock i'm heading back to the apartment um i managed to get all the way done with ben f i want to say um so i've got ben up to ben f empty from old inventory system and converted to the new inventory system. Uh, and now I'm headed to the apartment, but I wanted to come on the drive home to tell you guys about the Mercari buyer that I had. I've never been spoken to in such a rude manner when the situation was not my fault. At the beginning, I wasn't being rude to this person, but I did end up giving some some snarky comments back just because that's how he proceeded to talk to me and mind you this is like a oh hold on oh god okay and mind you this is like a grown man and he literally has like no decency for speaking to any human being it all starts like before he even bought the item 
the item was listed at $40, a pair of New Balance shoes. I let him know I can't go down to $20 on the shoes. I'm selling these for a client of mine, so we can't go that low. Then he's like, oh, what's your lowest? I'm like, okay, let's go ahead. I can offer you $31. I was feeling generous that day. Clearly, I should not have been feeling generous because this man was terrible. He buys them for $31 and I, he buys them on, fr I think it was Friday evening, like at 5, 6 p.m. Um, and I obviously don't go to my parents' house on Saturday. I wanna say I ended up shipping his item out on like Sunday maybe Monday, but I can't fully remember. Um, but with Mercari, a lot of time, well, with both Poshmark and Mercari, I found a lot of the times USPS does not actually scan the packages at all. Like the item will go all the way to the buyer and it was never scanned once into their system. So this buyer reached out and basically asked me when I was gonna ship it, if I shipped it yet. And I told him, I was like, I've already shipped this item. It looks like it hasn't been scanned yet. So let's just be patient. Sometimes the USPS either doesn't scan it at all till it's delivered or um, it gets scanned later on in its journey. And that's what I explained to him, not rude, just like explain that to him. Um, and let him know what was going on and that I've had that happen a ton of times. Um, so then he messages me back, some very mean, you know what, let me just go ahead and insert what he said right now so that I don't have to um, think about what he said. Um, and so then after he says these very rude things to me, I proceed to let him know that I do not appreciate being talked to that way and I don't appreciate being fed a sob story to get 50% off an item um, and then being talked to and treated poorly and um, that I have already shipped the item and you are gonna have to wait until it's delivered and he was asking for a refund and everything and I was like, yeah, not gonna happen because I literally don't have my item anymore and it's literally on the way to you. So. This was like, I wanna say Tuesday at this point where he first got mad about everything. Um, and then Wednesday morning is when things got like, bruh, this is ridiculous. Um, and I'll keep inserting whatever he said. It was literally, I've never had to deal with someone worse than this buyer. And he was calling me a scammer. He said I was like worth, like I literally like all over a $31 pair of shoes that I shipped the whole time. It just did not get scanned by USPS, which if you ship things, you know that that happens all the time. And he tried to sit there and say, oh my God, I ship things every day through Mercari and this never happens. I'm like, first of all, take a look at my profile because my profile in itself on Mercari speaks for itself. Like I have a ton of sales, a ton of reviews, a ton of followers. Like I have been selling a Mercari for a very long time. So, and I looked at his profile, he literally has sold like 30 items total since like 2019. And I'm like, this is, I don't even understand this, but you are irritating. So I just messaged him back, let him know once again, shipped your package, blah, blah, blah. Nothing else I can do. Mercari is not gonna offer you a refund. At this point, I did reach out to Mercari and let them know that this person on their site was talking extremely rudely to people and um, asking for a refund on an item that I've already sent. So then Wednesday like night, I get a notification after he's been messaging me all day. I finally was like stopped messaging him um, because at the end I started just saying, thank you, your package has been shipped and that's all I would say to him. And so he stopped uh, answering eventually. And um, finally Wednesday night, I got a notification that his package was delivered. And I, the, ooh, the, first of all, the joy I felt when this package was delivered, cause I was like, I freaking told you I shipped it. So then I basically uh, sent him a message and I was like, uh, by the way, for your information, your package, the tracking shows that it was delivered just now to your door. And he messages me back and I'll insert it. Something along the lines of like, if you would have shipped them out immediately, this wouldn't have happened. And I was like, you ordered it? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a little crooked, that's okay. I was like, you ordered the item on Friday. I shipped it on Sunday, Monday, whatever. It got there on Wednesday. First of all, the mail doesn't run on Sunday. Oh God, here we go. Hold on, I'll fix you in a minute. <laughs> Y'all are just on the side. <laughs> 
Oh my god. And now I'm stopping next to random people and they're gonna think I'm so weird talking to myself. What more did you need? And then the fact that in the end, he didn't apologize. He didn't like admit his mistake. He literally left me the worst review and I am in the process of getting it removed by Mercari and telling them to go review that entire chat and remove this person off their entire platform because this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever had to go through. And the fact that I had to deal with it all day for a $31 consignment sale, I was literally so irritated. But in the end, it is really freaking funny. Oh, they were just going, someone just ran, someone just ran right to the red light, just right in front of me. Okay. Uh, but the fact that in the end, like I was telling the truth the whole time. And at one point he was like, karma's gonna get you. And I was like, what is karma going to get me for? Karma is clearly going to get you because you just like belittled me to death because you think I didn't ship your package when I did the entire time. Literally so irritating and I really hope Mercari takes action and in the end he ended up blocking me after he sent one of the messages. Uh, he's probably mad because he was in the wrong like 1000%. I'm pretty sure that's what happened because he was 1000% in the wrong. Wow, why did it get so high? But that's the story of the Mercari buyer from hell. I literally don't know how someone can speak to another human being that way. And at this point, it's just funny to me at this point because it's like, you said all this stuff, in the end you were in the wrong and still could not say sorry or admit that you were wrong. Like that, it's just, it's so funny that grown people, grown adults that are way older than me can't even like be adults and admit they're wrong and say sorry so i'm glad mercari was kind of on my side through the whole thing and really believed me and um, honestly worst experience i've had across all three platforms that i sell on even ebay which i think ebay has some of the worst people and honestly i was just appalled at that point but i hope you guys enjoyed my little rant story of the worst mercari buyer ever it was horrible i hope none of you guys ever have to witness or go through someone talking to you that way but i don't really care about the situation anymore it's just really funny thought you guys would appreciate getting the laugh in on his messages that he sent me um but i am in the parking lot of the apartment i just parked and i'm gonna head in i uh, don't know what i'm gonna do yet there's a lot of things i could do so we'll just We'll figure it out once I get in there. Um, and I will probably talk to you guys either if I start an organization project of the kitchen cabinets or when I start dinner tonight. Because I want to show you guys the recipe. It's a new recipe I found. Really excited to try it. Um, oh, I don't think I told you guys about the enchiladas. The enchiladas were really freaking good. Highly recommend. I'll try to remember to leave the recipe down below. Super easy, super simple, and they cooked really fast. So um, I will try to also share this one I'm making tonight if it is good as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going in. I've been talking for too long. This is a long story rant, so I'm going now. Okay, um, I changed into just a tank top and I forgot that when I left, there was a full sink of dishes. Uh, so first thing I gotta do is do the dishes. And then I may feel like actually doing the kitchen cabinets. So I'm gonna do these dishes and then we'll see if I'm still up for it after I do the dishes. Um, I think I should be able to start this dishwasher after I do these dishes as well. Uh, because, oh Lord, I'm about to break my dishwasher. Um, Cause I loaded this the other day with some dishes, uh, but there wasn't enough. So hopefully I can start it after this. I may wait till I cook dinner depending on how much room is in here, but I may also start it and then unload it before I cook dinner. Maybe tomorrow though, it might not be done. I don't, I don't know, but I'm gonna do the dishes um, and then we'll see if I'm up for the kitchen cabinet organization, which needs to get done so bad, but I just, I just don't want to. You will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I Okay, it's actually Friday. Um, I forgot to show you guys the recipe I cooked 
yesterday, uh, but I have leftovers. So let me show you how it turned out. So I made a like, it, the recipe is like a Asian chicken meatball lettuce wrap with some like mango slaw. I did not make the mango slaw and I did not home make the meatballs. I actually got frozen meatballs that I knew we already liked um, that were not chicken. They were actually meat. Um, and I made the sauce the exact same and then I made rice. But I have like, I think five of the meatballs left. Oh, there's six of the meatballs left. So that is how it turned out. I also preferred eating the meatballs just with the rice and without like the lettuce wrap portion of it. Um, so it was definitely a hit. I will definitely make it again. It was also really easy, um, especially because I did the frozen meatballs. It still seems fairly easy without doing the frozen meatballs and doing the chicken meatballs homemade, but I just wasn't feeling it. So it was really good. I definitely will make it again. And um, I have some leftovers that I'll eat probably, I don't know, tomorrow, Sunday, I don't know. But um, I have gone all day without filming just because I've been pretty busy. I did go over to my office and I got a ton done. Basically everything I photographed yesterday, I went ahead and measured and weighed it and put all that into Vindu so that I could work on listing that stuff tonight. It is hot, hold on, let me check the air. Okay, how did adjust the air? Cause it's really hot. Um, but I just got home and I think I'm gonna rearrange the kitchen cabinets just because when I was cooking dinner last night, I literally was so irritated in the fact that everything was so messy. So there are a few cabinets that I'm gonna keep the way they are and then a lot of the cabinets are actually going to switch let me give you guys like a quick little tour of what it looks like now um and then we'll kind of see kind of how i switch it up there are quite a bit of cabinets that like are working fine but a lot of them also are not working fine so there's a lot to do also i sent offers before i left uh, my office and i have made so many sales since i left and it feels really good because Sales have been terrible this month, like my worst month of the year by far. Um, so I'm hoping that all these sales I'm making now help me there. Um, and then obviously the month is not over yet. So I'm hoping I end off on a better note. Obviously we did take our honeymoon this month and get married at the very end of last month. So I didn't have like a full month because for a whole week, I don't think I did any work, uh, but I hope I can still kind of meet someone of a goal that I want to meet. So yeah, there's been... A lot of sales coming through so that makes me really happy but let me give you guys a quick tour of what some of the cabinets look right now okay so if you've never seen our kitchen before this is what it looks like everything on the counters is going to stay the same i hate that up there but there's no place for it right now so we're just going to leave it um so we're not going to touch the pantry or fridge either um so in here i have our dish towels uh which works for me um, and then in here, we actually have, I have my hydro jugs in here, which don't need to be in here, but I haven't found another spot for them. So I don't know where I'm going to put those yet. I may throw them in that closet over there for now, and then maybe fix it later. Uh, but then back there, I just have a strainer and then like a little dish that I cook stuff in. Up above that cabinet, we have um, like mixing bowls and stuff. I have a lot of mixing bowls. This cabinet's not terrible, but I can't reach the top one, so there's like no way for me to get it down. Um, over here are all of our cups and mugs and everything, and I really wanted to keep the cups over here by the fridge, but there's just way too many that they could not fit over there. So I think I'm going to keep those there, but I don't know. And then in here we have um, just my spices that I use. Um, this is just the spices that I've uh, had before I moved out and a couple ones that I bought for a couple recipes but usually I have way more spices on hand um, and then I have like a guacamole bowl but there's like so much room in here I just don't know what I'm putting in there you know and then over here which all this should be staying is just our plates um, this is my favorite cabinet because it stays <laughs> really uh, nice and neat we have some paper plates uh, these are we're just using up for the wedding we usually don't have those on hand um, but this is kind of what that looks like and then down here in this first drawer we actually have our like hot pads and um, oven mitts just a few because you don't really need that many um, and then over here we have um, this 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 drawer this drawer is just like I don't even know what's happening here. This is my utensil drawer and it's seen better days. I really need an organizer. Like it just doesn't, like these are from the wedding. The forks are from the wedding. Like we don't usually have that, but I just, that's bothering me. Um, this drawer is just our silverware. This will all stay the same. Um, and then like measuring spoons and some extra whisks. 
Most of our stuff is up here, which love that. Don't like this, so I am gonna try to kind of get that out of here, but I just don't really have a lot of like drawers um, that are big enough to hold all that. Um, and then over here, the rest of these drawers, this one's empty right now. This one, oh my gosh, this one has like foil bags, saran wrap, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the bottom one has cutting boards. And then the worst cabinet of them all is down here. This has pots and pans, crock pot, like all the random, like a George Foreman, the rice cooker, like everything goes down here and it just does not work. Like I tried to get like an organizer up there and clearly it's not working. So I want to get actually the little things that go here to hold lids. I think that's a really great um, like invention. So I'm going to see how much those are and probably order that. And then I also need a utensil organizer. So what I'm going to do is kind of organize what I can and then order what I need and then finish it later. But this cabinet is by far the most irritating just because there's so much stuff and I don't know what to do with it all. Oh, and then I forgot about over here. Um, so this is the only other cabinet with kitchen stuff in it. This is just like the Tupperware and stuff, which I don't, I don't know. It's just so ugly. I don't know. <laughs> That's the before overview. What I'm going to do is literally remove everything from the cabinets that I want to switch and then come up with a better plan for everything because this is not it. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Okay, I cleared everything out. I feel like I have a lot of crap to have just moved in here. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking putting the Tupperware up there just because the only ones I use are the glass ones. I have plastic ones on hand, but I use glass. And then I have all this like lunch stuff for when I used to make my husband lunches every day when he went to work. So he no longer takes lunch to work. He comes home for lunch. So I keep it just because they could come in handy. So I'm going to put the lunch containers and the lunch boxes and stuff at the very top. And then the glass bowls down here. And then the plastic up here because I just don't use it. Like I rarely use the plastic. Like I probably don't even need it. But I keep it on hand just in case. But I am going between switching these towels. But I really like the towels here. So I don't think I'm going to switch them. Um, but I think I'm going to actually put my non most used utensils slash random products in here and then my most used utensils in here obviously i still need an organizer so i can't really like do anything about that but i feel like everything else goes really well and i think over here i'm gonna put like the mixer that i don't use very often the rice cooker the george foreman the egg thing like the random things that i don't really use very often um like the attachments for our other um like pressure cooker up there just because i don't use it very often so i think i'm gonna put that stuff down here and then in here i really like having the pots and pans in here but when you put the pots and pans in here with all the extra nonsense it kind of gets a little crazy so i'm gonna keep the pots and pans in here but take out all the extra stuff and it will be a little bit more manageable i don't know where i'm gonna put the mixing bowls yet which is a big thing but i still have this whole thing empty so i'm wondering if the mixing bowls and stuff need to go down here um, but do I access mixing bowls more than Tupperware, but this is more accessible to me because I'm so short. I don't know. What I'm going to do first is put the pots and pans back because those are used all the time. Um, and I'm just going to do just pots and pans in here. And I'm going to put the lids in there just like normally. And then I'll look into the lid thing. Um, and then I'll kind of start separating the utensils. And then I'll probably move the Tupperware and stuff and then move on to the next. But that's kind of my plan right now. So we'll see if my plan is a good one in the end.
to like hold our bags together. But I don't know if these are gonna work, but let's just, let's try. Okay, I finished. I really like how it turned out. Uh, so the only thing I have left are the Hydro Jugs, which I don't really wanna keep in a kitchen cabinet anyways. I can keep them in the very top one above the microwave. I just can't reach them if I do that because um, we don't have a step stool yet. Let me go ahead and give you guys a quick overview. I will start with this little cabinet that's all by itself. Um, in here, I put all of the random things, the George Foreman, the whisk, I mean not whisk, whisk, oh my gosh, the rolling pin, which literally didn't fit anywhere else. It's just, that's the spot for it. I have the mixer, the rice cooker, the egg cooker, um, the strainer, and like extra parts for our air fryer, and then the stuff for our um, pressure cooker. This stuff's in here. Don't really reach for that stuff very often, so that's why it's down there, out of sight, out of mind, like whatever. And then if we go over here, I'll start up here. Um, this first cabinet is the Tupperware. It is not exactly how I want it, but that is just how it's gonna be for now. It is very accessible to the stuff I use the most, which is really what matters to me. This is kind of throwing it all off. Like it looked really good without this, but I use these, um, especially when I have leftovers for dinner because you can just heat it up in there and eat it and boom and you're done. So there wasn't really another option for that. So I'm kind of stuck with that right there, uh, but it looks pretty good. Um, all the lunch stuff is hanging out up there, kind of just stacked. And then obviously the plastic is right there. I mean, I don't really reach for it that often, so I don't really need it, but if I do need something, it is easily accessible still. And then down here we have mixing bowls slash like just baking dishes. I do have another one that I need to put in here as well. It's just in the sink. Um, so these are all the mixing bowls. My most used ones are the glass ones and then the, those plastic ones on top back there. Um, so I just kind of made it like that to do my most used ones are kind of in the front. And then over here, I know I didn't really change this one, but I just put that bowl and that measuring cup up there um, just because there's really no other spot for it, but I think it looks good anyways. And then down here, this is probably my favorite part because this is what I was having the most trouble with. So I basically used my same lid organizer that I've been having and it seems to work out. Um, so this is what I kind of landed on. I did keep the crock pot down here just because that's probably the most used thing out of all of the random things I have. Okay, sorry, I got interrupted. The husband called me. Um, but this is definitely my favorite cabinet just because it was the most unaccessible for me. Um, and now it is just very easy to grab everything. It was just too crowded and things didn't fit. But I'm happy with how it turned out. And then we have this drawer, which is random utensils that I really don't use that often. So it doesn't really matter what they look like. Obviously, this is not ideal. I do wish to have like an organizer, but for now it's gonna work. And then last but not least is the other utensil drawer. This is the one that was giving me all the trouble. So what I did was I went through everything. I found this random or two organizers in the closet and um, I wanna get like a real cheese grater. I don't like this. I used to like it, don't like it anymore. So plan to get rid of that, but this is like my other most used utensils besides what's up there. I did go through everything and add into there what are my most used things. So that is all in there and then the rest is in here. So love it. I think it turned out so good. And for now I have those napkins just on the counter so we can use them. And I did put the forks. Oh God, you're falling. I did put the forks um, right there so we would use them. But that is the overview of the kitchen. This makes me kind of want to move our Keurig back over here 
and move the oil and stuff. You know what? I might look at it. I'm gonna look at it. Do we like it or do we hate it? I went and added this back uh, with my one cookbook and my one thing. Um, I think it looks good. I don't love the oil and stuff back there, but I do think it looks good. Um, I think it's right where it needs to be, right by the stove. And I just like that there so much better. I don't know why. <laughs> I just feel like it fits perfectly over there. So I think I like it. I think we're gonna leave it. And then obviously I'll remove these as soon as we use them up. Maybe I'll put the napkins on here. Maybe that'll work. Um, I mean, not really, but <laughs> whatever. Maybe I'll put the big ones on here. Whatever. Uh, but I also like to keep this clear just because it's another like prep area because there's not a ton of prep room in here. So I like to keep this one empty. So I like how it looks now. It does look a little crowded over here to me, but like whatever it's stuff I use all the time so it's all gonna stay but I think everything will look turned out so good and I'm very happy that I finally got around to this <laughs> and now I can stop talking about it and I can stop thinking about it because it's, it's done but I am gonna go ahead and just end the vlog off here it wasn't the most entertaining one I've ever had but I still think we did a lot this week I was not feeling the best so the fact that I got everything done that I did um, makes me really happy um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just clear up these last few things on the counter and then probably just hang out on the couch get in my pajamas you know the drill um, but thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again in next week's vlog